Hello once again. In this video, we're going to create a more complex event that activates a shark attack when you press a button. First, we'll have to give the user instructions. In the world.myFirstMethod tab, add a say command to the bottom. Make sure that you've selected your character in the object tree, then drag and drop it in, select other, and have your character say something like press S for a surprise. Now, we'll have to create the method that activates when you press S. Click on world in the object tree. We are going to make a new world method because this method will involve several different objects. Now create create new method. Call it surprise. S doesn't just stand for surprise though. It also stands for shark attack. So to do this method, we'll have the camera get a good look at the shark. Now while we learned to move the camera before, to change the camera position while the program is running, we'll have to use its methods. So select camera in the object tree, then find where it says set point of view to. Drop that into your world.surprise tab, which should be empty, and select camera views, shark view. Now select shark in the object tree. Drag in one of its say commands, select other, and have it say something like, surprise, S is for shark attack. Now I realize that that's kind of a lame thing to have your shark say, so you should be more creative and come up with something of your own. Now if you click more next to this in your method editor, then a list of parameters will appear. You can change the color of the text bubble that comes up, you can change the color of the text in that bubble. You can change the size of the font of that text in the bubble. You probably shouldn't change the font name because oftentimes that will end up breaking your program. But most importantly in this case, we can change the duration that this comes up. Now we're going to set this to two seconds so that the user has more time to read the instructions that we're giving him. You can play around with these other parameters in your own time. Different methods will have different parameters that you can use. Now, change the point of view back to the start position to look back at the island. Once again, click camera, drag in its set point of view to method, except now choose camera views and then start view. We want to test this the way that we have it now, so change your when the world starts method to surprise. This way, we can just look at what we've just written. So, press play, and what should happen is it will turn towards the shark, the text bubble will come up, and then it will turn back. Very simple. Press stop. Now we'll have the shark actually attack your robot. So select shark in the object tree, and drag in its move toward method. This will allow us to choose a distance that the shark should move towards any other object. We'll have it move 2 meters towards the rowboat in the entire rowboat, but 2 meters probably isn't enough, so we'll have to adjust that. I figure that my shark is about 5 meters from the boat, but depending on where exactly you placed your shark, you'll have to experiment with different values. For now, I'm going to click on where it says amount equals 2 meters, select other, and type in 5. Click OK. Now I'm going to play my world, and we're going to see if my shark stops in the right place. It's perfect. Your shark should stop just before it reaches the boat. It's OK if it goes into the boat a little bit, but it sure, certainly shouldn't go through the island at all. While he just sits there right now, we'll have him circle around the island after stopping in a later video. Press stop. Finally, we'll extend the duration of this move towards method so that the user has more time to react to the shark attacking his boat. So choose more in the same method line as the move towards method, select duration, and then choose other and type in five seconds. Next, we'll want to have the whole program run together and have this method called when we press the letter S. 
To do so, we'll have to create a new event. In your event editor, select the gray button that says create new event, and then choose when a key is typed. Right now it says that when any key is typed, we do nothing, but we want our world to run its surprise method when we press S. So change where it says any key to letters S, and change where it says do nothing to surprise. So now when S is typed, the world does its surprise method. And now that we have this set up, we can change our when the world starts event to once again run world.myFirstMethod, which will introduce the character, have the character do a backflip, and then tell the user to press S. Finally, press play to test your world. And when you press S when asked to do so, the sequence that you just programmed should run. The shark will move towards the boat, just as we said, and now it will take five seconds. Note that if you press S again, the sequence will run, but the camera tripod or dummy camera that we used before no longer properly captures the scene, and the shark's in the wrong place. So, we say that this event is only really good for one-time use. If something different goes wrong, then congratulations, you've found your first bug. That said, if something is a little funky, make sure that your surprise method is the same as mine. In the next video, we're going to go over how to control our robot so that we can drive around. For now, though, just hit File, and then Save World.